Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa and in this video we're going to have a look at how I've completed this peacock from start to finish. In the description below I'll put a list of the colours of the pencils and the type of paper that I used and any tools or resources that I used to complete this one. We'll do a couple of feathers in real time and if you like this video remember to like and subscribe and you can check me out on Etsy and also add me on Insta. Let's get started! So to begin with, I put the outline down, picked out all of my colors, and then I cut out a big piece of tracing paper just to go over my outline because I knew that this piece was gonna take me such a long time and I didn't wanna lose the outline over time by like rubbing my hand on it. So to make sure I didn't lose the outline, I just have the tracing paper there. So I always start with the eye usually, mostly just because it's a really good place to start with and you can build on really well around the eye and start to add in more of the feathers around the face. So when I was picking colors for this one, I noticed that a lot of the colors that you can see underneath the feathers are sort of a cold color and sort of blue and purple tones and a lot more cooler. They're not as warm like the reds and oranges and things like that. So I did go in with a cold gray one where usually I always use warm gray pencils, but this time was cold gray one. The main light blue color that I used was the light cobalt turquoise and I did use one Caran d'Ache Luminance pencil which was the middle cobalt blue which is a really really bright sort of royal blue. Making sure to put your blue colors underneath the black feathers so this will help it not look so flat and give you some really good dimension. So for the little white sections on the top of the head I did use some of my soft white Holbein pencil and also used a scalpel just to pick away at some of the color to make the white section stand out a little bit more. When it came to this really lovely blue color on the chest I did use a couple of layers of the cold gray one, light cobalt turquoise, I put in some of the cobalt green, cobalt turquoise, Prussian blue, and then started to go in with my Zestet pencil blend. So putting this down just gets rid of the tooth of the paper, makes it look nice and shiny. Then you can go back in and saturate those colors again. And then also went in with the Payne's gray and the dark sepia to make everything a lot darker. So when it comes to scales, feathers, Anything with sort of sections where there's sort of white in between, you sort of have to have a bit of a game plan and decide how you're gonna tackle it. So what I did was just pick out sections and then go through and start to add those in with the light colors and then go over with the dark colors. So because this peacock, there are a lot of areas that overlap different areas. So putting in the black and white section there, you can see on the right hand side there were feathers that overlapped so I made sure to put those in before I started on the black and white feathers and also leaving some negative space so this means that you're not going in the sections that are white with your color and leaving it as a negative space and then going over with the darker colors around it. So in the darker sections on the back of the bird I did go in with the Zestet pencil blend again and this is with a little paintbrush. It just helps to blend it all together, makes it look really dark. Then when it dries you can go in and go back over with your colors and darken it up even more. So I think for this piece I probably spent over 20 hours on this whole thing. I still work full time and this is just a hobby for me so each night after work I'd spend maybe an hour or two working on it spend some time on the weekends as well so it took a couple of months for me to get it done just because I had other pieces and some commissions in the meantime and I just really wanted to take my time and I really wanted to do it all so I was thinking that maybe I could cut it off halfway and I was like no I really want to commit and just do all of the feathers and put it all in to make to see just what it looks like. So as I started to move down the bird I just started to fold back the tracing paper and eventually I started to cut it off because it was getting in the way. But the main procedure I used for this was just to sort of pick out some of the yellow feathers with the darker blue in the middle, put that in and then start to put in the feathers around it and then match it up and link it all together. So you can see that I put the feather, the inside of the feather in and then go in and put the colors that I can see underneath the feather. So around them it's usually sort of a dark naples orange, a permanent green, 
or even a light cobalt turquoise color put those in and then I use the embossing tool just to go over and indent the page and push that color into the page and then when I go over with the Payne's gray and the dark sepia the color is still in the embossed lines which makes it look like there's color in the feathers and then the darkness is around it and you can just build it up that way so it was very tedious and sort of by the end of it I was just wishing for it to be over but once you sort of got into the routine of it and started doing the same thing for every section it does become a lot easier and it's not as hard as what it looks like it just takes a really long time and you need to be very very patient and remember as well like where there are sections that overlap other sections you need to make sure that you're looking at those before you put in the full section so you don't want to put in a whole feather and then realize that it should be overlapped by something else or it should be overlapping something else you just need to pay attention to what is first in the picture and because they're all sort of on top of each other it can be tricky to sort of pick out the feathers and which one goes first so as I mentioned before in the description below I'll put a list of all of the colors that I've used and all of the tools that I've used including the slice tool the embossing tool and the zest it blender so this type of texture can be very tedious and it does take a long time as I've mentioned but just picking out small sections and seeing sort of what's easy and then you can go in and start to link up all the areas and start to join them all together towards the end as well you can go in and have a look at where everything is sitting and how you're feeling about everything and then darken up areas and lighten up areas so the main thing I wanted to do was just get all of the colors in all of the feathers in and the embossed lines then I can go back and have a look and see where I want to darken and lighten certain sections so now we're gonna so then it's just a matter of going through and adding in all the different sections and linking them all up and then at the end you can have a look back and see where you need to go darker or where you can lighten things up with the white holbein pencil the scalpel or even a slice tool remember though texture like this just takes a long time it will just take a long time to build up and you really just need to be patient and work at it um, often so i also had a couple of pieces on the go in between all of this because i feel like if i just focused on this solely I would sort of get over it or it would just be too tedious or I'd rush it so I did have breaks from this piece and worked on other things and then came back to it I hope that a couple of these tips and techniques have helped the embossing tool is a really good tool to use and just going on white paper you can get really really crisp white lines underneath your colors um, as well so you don't always have to just go over the colors that you've put down with the embossing tool you can just go straight onto the white paper if you want like whiskers or things like that if you're going to attempt texture like this I would really recommend getting a piece of paper that you can practice on and go on put some colors down then go over with your embossing tool in hard and light layers and then go back over with your darker colors to see how prominent they are you can get a good feel of how hard or soft you need to be and it's just really good practice to make sure that you're getting the right technique before you start so if you like this video remember to like and subscribe and if you attempt a piece like this or even some of the feathers like this let me know in the comments below or add me on insta and tag me because i would love to see what you guys are producing so this is the final result i really hope that you like this video remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thanks guys bye